Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. I am still fighting this virus, whatever it is that's going on. So I'm still sneezing, coughing, so bear with me. Um, I have the rest of my Dollar Tree haul from last night and I'm going to share it all with all of you. Now, every single item in this haul is a buck and a coin, which is $1.25. Um, if it ever becomes different, which it is going to be coming different very soon, I will always make sure to let you know. So a buck and a coin for everything. Everything came from the Poughkeepsie location over by the Poughkeepsie Galleria, if you're familiar with the area, which is the Hudson Valley area. All right. Yeah, I know. I look like I um, have a bad 80s perm going on. I took a shower, rolled my hair up, and fell asleep and woke up like, <laughs> all right, but I'm happy to have it. You know, I can't complain. Um, it'll start going down at some point. I just kind of threw a headband on and said, ah, all right. So most of these items that I'm going to share with you in this haul are perfect for Easter baskets. So we got some gadgets and some gadgets and um, all right, so let's just jump into it. So I want to go, I, I, I don't even know why I got these. But it seems like everybody is on the hot and hula for these. So these are called Every Ring. I have two packages. So let me show you one of the packages right here. So it's called Every Ring. Silicone rings. You get five in a package. And I found ones that had like different colors. So this one's got the green, the really bright hot pink. This one doesn't. This one actually has two silvers. So what I'm understanding here is it says it's a five pack. Um, so comfortable, you won't even know it's there. It's a variety of colors for every occasion. For the gym, for the job, and for the adventure. So, am I understanding that basically this is to take place of a regular ring? I guess I'm just not getting it. At first, I kind of thought like, alright, so maybe this is for like, if you are getting your nails done or say you're at somewhere and you don't want your rings to get messed up, so you put these on, exchange them for this, so you remember to get your ring at the end. I don't even know. So I find these comical because obviously I fell for it, um, but I wanted to share them with all of you because everybody in the world is hauling these. So these say it fits medium sizes, six and a half to seven ring. You measure your finger right here. There's a little cutout on the package. I just, you know what? That's what I think of those. I don't understand the concept. I guess, yeah, they're kind of cool and fun, but maybe if you're younger and you're, I mean, I guess we wear bracelets and stuff. I just thought they were kind of like, okay, just my opinion. Let's move on. All right, they had these over in a couple different places. They had these in the Easter section. They also had them out by the front checkouts. These are the string lights. They have two AA batteries that you have to supply yourself. This is when that little screwdriver set I always recommend from Dollar Tree comes in handy because those screwdriver sets fit every single type of lights that you can get at Dollar Tree. Here's where you're gonna put your two double A's in there. There's your power switch. These happen to be on the thin wires, so you definitely wanna be careful when you open them up. But these have all these little smiley faces on there. I didn't unwind it because I just took it out of the box. So these have all these little smiley faces on there. They had another one, which I'm going to take it out of the package. There's what it looks like, but I think it's easier to see out of the package. They had this one here, which is all, let me turn them straight for you here. They're all different unicorns, and there's a light behind each one. So each unicorn should light up. And the last one that I got here is pandas. <coughs> Excuse me. These are how long here? Um, These glasses that I have on are from Dollar Tree, but they're not the best for me because my eyes have gotten worse. I want to say these are a little over a foot long. I could be wrong, but maybe a little bit longer. These have pandas. And they look just, yeah, it would help if I unwind them for you a little bit here. And I just realized I didn't change that bulb from last night. So hopefully you can see what I'm showing you. But here's all these little pandas for those of you that like your pandas. Super cute. And once you take them out of the package and unwind them, you can make all the pandas face a certain direction. It's just because of the way they're in the package. They're like really scrunched up so they can fit in that plastic package. Also a great thing for Easter baskets as well. Then I came across 
These here, they had multiple colors, but I just grabbed two different ones. I grabbed one in this like pinkish color and one in that green that I've been going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs lately. These are what they're calling infinity cubes. There's a lot of gadgets and gadgets out right now. Um, there's a lot of toys for interactive and sensory toys out right now. This I was actually, they had one in the store open and I was kind of messing with it at the checkout, but it's kind of cool, you know, it got my attention. So it just folds and bends in different, like that looks like a Rubik's cube. It's just something, believe it or not, because I do have some kids in my family that have autism and some sensory issues. These are remarkable because they really do help. And this one's really quiet. There's not a lot of noise going on. So if I just play with it quietly, you know, it's not really loud. And that's exactly what they don't want is anything loud. So that was pretty cool. They also had some new pens and I always get excited about my pens because I just don't have enough. So this one here I thought was kind of different. They, um, are they calling this anything special? No, to me, it's a unicorn pen. And why did I say unicorn? I, I have unicorns on the brain. I meant to say it's a mermaid pen. So they all had the same color pattern here. They're made of like a flexible rubber because boing, boing. Sound effects are always free here. Anyways, you just take the cap off right here. It's a twist off, pull off cap. It does write in black ink, but that's something cool I don't have in my pen collection. Then I saw this one. I was like, ooh, this one's cool too. This one here has a big old gemstone at the top. It's set with four prongs. Obviously, it's a fake full little stone. But what I liked about this is it's a twist pen. I think that's so cool. The other thing, it's got like an ombre effect running through it, which is like purples and pinks. And then inside here is glitter. So when you move the pen around, the glitter moves with the pen. So what a cute thing. Also great for an Easter basket in lieu of candy or added with candy. Then they had these pens here. Now these are kind of fun. They're calling them pearl pens. They do write in black ink. You twist them just like I showed you with the other pen. These are all in packages. So this one is a really pretty like lilac purple color. And the top of the pearl is like pearlescent. So there was that one. Then they had it in this yellowish color but the top of the pearl looks more like a peachy yellow. Really pretty. And last but not least, that mint green, I'm just loving. Absolutely loving it with the purple. All right, couple stickers I was happy to find. These are actually sticker books. I found three different ones and these are really cool. You get 251 stickers. There's eight different pages for you to personalize um, planners or cards or do whatever you want with them. So here's the first one. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer because of my lighting. And then when you open it up, I love the way they did this. So here are some of the stickers. But look at the way they did it in the book here. So I can flip through it this way. How cool is that this time? It's like a little book you open and then bam, you've got all your stickers. There's quite a bit. So let's go to this side. There's a lot of bling going on there. But there's so many different stickers. I mean, you're really getting quite a variety of different stickers in this book. So they had a couple different ones. So they had this one here that looked like this on the front. Then they had this one that looked like this on the front. And when I opened it up, the first thing I said to myself, is it going to be the same stickers repeating over and over? And it is not. So here's some of the stickers in this book. And I'll just go through a few of them quickly. But they are different stickers. And you know what? You can tear these sheets out, put it in friend mail or happy mail if you don't want to do the whole book. So here's some of the stickers on this one. And there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot going on. And then the third book I found looks like this. Same amount of stickers. Oh, my bad. It is not the same amount of stickers. <gasps> All right, let's just go through this quickly again. The very first book I showed you, 251 stickers. The second book I showed you, 
238 stickers. The book I'm going to show you now, 222 stickers. All right. This one's got little dramas going on. All right. So this one here, there is just so much going on in these sticker books. So let's go through this one. I'll show you some of these. These are great. And they're not all super tiny, tiny. A lot of times when you get more than 100 stickers, you get those itty bitty ones. Yeah, there's some in here, but not like what I thought it would be all the way through. So there's some fun ones going on here. Great for baskets. Ooh, oh, ooh. Pretty kitties on there. All right, so that's it for sticker books. Let's jump over to the beauty. Oh, wait, wait, I totally... <gasps> I saw these and I thought of Miss Patty. Uh, this was over by the school section where I got the borders for my cork board. You get 50 in a package and they are about one and a quarter inches. Actual size, you get 10 different designs in this package. But do you see the very first sticker there? It's a taco. So you get 10 of each sticker back here. Or no, you get... Ooh, you get five of each sticker back here. But so you end up with five tacos. You get pretzels, hot dogs, pizza, avocado. You get a donut. You get like a popsicle, some cherries, and a peach. So check those out, Patty. You got to get the tacos for yourself, girl. All right, let's move over to beauty section real quick. Not a whole lot going on in the beauty section. Um, I needed another brush because mine went kaput. So I just grabbed one of these from Dollar Tree because yes, it's like a purpley color and I have one of these and it works just fine. Also in the beauty section, I saw these and went, they're like little baby sponges and that's exactly what they are. They're made by Sassy and Chic. They look like that. They're sealed in a cellophane package. They're latex free. They're um, three in a package and they're little mini makeup sponges. So let's get into one of these. What's nice about this, makeup sponges are great but sometimes they're just too darn big to get into the corners of your eyes. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, how perfect. You get a couple different shapes. So that's another reason why I'm opening these up. These look more than different than, I'm bad. Okay, bad bath's coming out right now. I'm not gonna say a word, I'm just gonna stay quiet. Um, so these are by Sassy and Chic. You get three in a package. So the first one looks like a teardrop to me, a water drop. So this is going to be perfect for getting into the corners of your eyes. So here's the first shape one. The second shaped one almost looks like the top of that one, but it's slanted here on the side. So let me get my nails out of the way here. So there's that one. And last but not least, I think this is my favorite one. It's just so cute. Looks like that. Again, you hold it right here. Pop that right in the corner of your eye or maybe in the crease of your nose or wherever it needs to go. And boom, they are so cute. They look just like this by Sassy and Chic. Another great item to stuff in a beauty basket or an Easter bag. All right, I did pick up a couple things for Miss Mia. I can't shake this too loud because if she hears me, she's going to try to barge through the door and it's closed right now. It's a dog toy, but it's a rubber coated ball with another ball inside that squeaks. I gave her one this morning and it was yellowish color and she was running all over the backyard with it. So had lots of fun with it so far and it's got little bones all over it. And the one I gave her has little paw prints all over it. So, so far, so good. All right, so let's get into some toys. If you watch my channel and follow my channel, you know how much I like my toys. All right, so there's so many sensory bags, blind bags, um, you name it, there's multiples out here in New York State. I don't know what's going on. I think a lot of it has to do with the Easter. And it seems like there's more and more toys. And not that that's a bad thing because, you know, sometimes the candy gets old after a while. All right, so I found some new blind bags. Let's start off with My Little Pony. And these are bracelets. It says you can collect them all. It doesn't tell me how many. It looks like there's maybe one, two, three four, five, six different ones you can collect. It says these are series one, and this is what those bags look like. So here is series one. They also had these, which I thought were super cool. And speaking about sensory toys, this one 
gives you multiple pieces. You get four different toys in one bag, which is like totally cool because they could have separated this out. Um, so you get shape them, zip them, and pop them. So I'm going to open one of these up and show all of you, but here's what the bag looks like. I got two different ones. This one had different colors inside than this one had like this. So I think these are like super duper cool. Let me see, which one do I want to open? This one's got like more orange. Let's open this one right here. So I'm going to use, um, I don't think I need my scissors because you can pretty much see what's going on, but to get four toys, all right, so the first thing that we get, let me just dump it all out here. Hopefully I don't spill it all over the floor like I normally do or whack the camera. All right, so the first thing is I have two rings that look like this and have bubbles on the top. So these obviously go on your fingers. Can you hear it? If I close my big mouth, you can hear the popping. So I've got two different rings. Obviously if I stretch it, oh yeah, they'll fit me just fine. So we've got two different rings and now I have one up here. It's the pushing and the popping sensation. Okay, so there's the rings. Then it gives you this zipper bracelet. I think these are so cool. So it's just, I felt like I was flipping you guys off and I'm not trying to. Oh, this video is going to hell in a handbasket. So you have two things going on here. You have a push in piece that releases the bracelet in and out. Now I'm no Barbie doll, we all know that, but let me just see if it fits me. I think they do. Let's see, bear with me here. It might take me an hour to get this snapped, but uh, all right, nope, not at all. So here it is on me and I've got plenty of room. Okay, so it's a zipper. It's just like if you were zippering a jacket, it's a zipper. And then when you unzipper it, there's the two pieces. One is pink and one is orange. So something else to fidget with and that's what it is. It's keeping them occupied. The last toy is this little hose. Now I'm not quite sure if you blow through it or if it's one of those that you whip around, it makes noise. But I do know as soon as you pull it apart, you're going to get this effect which is cool so you've got a small piece and a bigger piece I'm assuming oh yeah yeah okay so they connect so we got a bracelet which I kind of popped it apart but we have a bracelet there's I'm um, popped it apart so maybe it's not supposed to be a bracelet oh it does it snaps in so when you pull it apart it goes right back together so you absolutely could do a bracelet so there we go so there's multiple things going on here. So for a buck and a coin, you cannot beat that. All right, so let me move my toys out of the way here. The next thing I found, I wish a toy company would notify me because I would play with toys all day long. All right, so the next thing I came across were these. And these are, wow, surprise. Novelty hair ties, collect them all. They're like super poofy. So here's what the bag looks like. Here's the back of the bag. So I was able to get my hands on a few, but I'm not gonna open them all up, but I'm gonna open one up with all of you. So let's start right here. Now they do have a zipper thing and I'm not gonna use my scissors because I don't wanna cut into anything, but I'm still gonna push the bag down. Here's where you rip it open because it's got like a Ziploc thing here. I don't think I ripped it down far enough. Nope, all right, so let me try that again. I don't, still don't think I did. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh, I didn't. All right, so I do need to use my scissors, my bag, but I'm just gonna make a little puncture there right at the top. There's definitely air in them. Okay, so that was me not working it right. White is just not a good color for me. I always trash it really easily, but let's see what it is. So, white. Okay, so there's... What is this? OMG, it's bunny ears, how perfect for Easter. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
So it's a hair tie. It's a hair tie. There's the different ones you can. Oh, how cute is this? Oh my goodness. Put that in your hair and you can have bunny ear. All right. We got to open another one. All right. All right. Hold up now. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's try a different one here. Now let's see if I can do this right. Let me try to rip it open the right way this time. I still didn't do it right. Oh my goodness. All right. Just be careful. Um, I'm obviously not doing it correctly. Um, so I'm just kind of snipping the corner. All right. You guys get to see the color before me. Ooh, is it another bunny? What do we got? What is this? Oh, oh my gosh. These are going to fly off the shelves. How cute are these? Look at those eyelashes. Well, this video is going to be a long one. I don't think you guys are going to mind because we're going to just have to do one more. All right, let's try one more. So we've got the we got the bear or whatever. I think it's supposed to be a bear. We got the bunny. So there's a pineapple, a unicorn. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try this one. Let me see if I can get one of these to open properly. It can't be all me. Maybe a little me. But I'm tearing them right where it says to tear them. Oh, yeah, it's me. Maybe my headband's on too tight. <laughs> All right, you guys get to see before me. What is it? Is it purple? But I'm just going to squish it up. We're going to find out together. OMM. OMM. Look, I'm so excited I can't even talk. What do we have? Oh, it looks like a kitty cat. How cute are these? So I just shared three bags with you and got three different ones. Whoop, I got more. All right, let's move on to something else here. This, I think, is adorable because they did it in two different versions. And I'm going to say blue is for the boys. But, hey, girls like blue, too. But they have it in blue. And then they have it in pink. These would be so perfect for Easter baskets. All right, so the blue ones have a series of six different styles. They're called Squishy Surprise, and you can get, I'm just gonna show you the ones you can get. No, I'm just gonna tell you. You can get a shark, a ghost, a race car, a plane, a dinosaur, or a skull. Here's the series for either girls or boys. It doesn't matter. So I got me a few of those. You cannot see what's in here. The girl version, is six different styles a duck a pineapple a narwhal as i call unicorn whales a unicorny a llama or a bear and here is what all of these look like all right let's get into it so which one should we open which one should we open which one which one which one all right let's go with this one so i like to shake them down and I am going to, oh wait, this does have a tear nook here. So I'm just going to tear it open. You guys always get to see before me. All right. What do we got? Let's see. Oh, wow. So first of all, there's no card or anything like that inside. We got the airplane, and this is impressive because sometimes when you get the blind bag toys, they're really puny or they're just not worth it. This is made from like one of those rubbery foams that kind of bounces back. Um, it's got a really nice hanging piece here to hang. As you can see, it's got like a big lobster claw right there. So yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. So you know what that means. So we'll open another blue one and see what we come up with. We're gonna open this one here. Actually, I'm gonna tear it open again. All right, so let's smush whatever's there down, open it up. All right, everybody, whoops. <laughs> what do we got, what do we got? We got a dinosaur, and there he is. He's got a little red top hat on there. Actually, that's probably one of his uh, horny things, whatever you call them. Um, so there is the dinosaur. All right, 
Let's check out the pink bags, which are these ones here. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right. So here's what they look like. They do have a tear thing right here. And now that I know there's long cords in there, I definitely don't want to cut it. So let's rip this one open together. And what do we have? There we go. What do we got? So these don't have any cards or any kind of things inside because it just basically tells you that there's six different ones you can get. All right, come out of there. Stuck. What is it? Oh, it's a pineapple. How cute. It almost looked like SpongeBob for a second, but I know SpongeBob's not in there. These are adorable and they are a nice size right there. That's probably a good four inches right there. All right, let's try another pink one and see what we got. Let me get it over here. All right, there we go. Again, you can get a duck, a pineapple, a bear, a llama, a unicorn, a norwhale. And what do we got? I'd like to get the duck. The duck looks pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, is that the pineapple? Oh, how cute. For those of you that like your pineapples, that is adorable. There you go. How cute is that? Now, where's that first one that I had? It's the same thing, Beth, and I'm getting all excited for the same thing. I'm like, wait a minute. Durr. So we got two of the same. So you know what that means? We got to jump into another one. All right, let's try that again. I was like, wait a minute. Where did I see that before? Here we go. All right. What do we got? What do we got? If it's the same one again, I'm going to get pissy. I'm going to get pissy. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? That looks blue. Norwell. Oh, how cute. It looks more like a penguin, but that's okay. There he is. Actually, he goes like this. So for those of you that like, am I saying that right? Norwell? Yeah. There it is. All right. One other blind bag I'm going to share with all of you, and this one's completely different. It's called Wow Surprise. So this is by the same company that's doing those hair bands. Here it is. And this now has Collect Them All Charm Bracelets. You get one in a package. On the back, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six different versions. I'm going to show you all six right there. And we're going to get into it. We're going to open one up and see what we got here. So I'm going to shake this one down a little bit. You do have the tear slot. So I'll start up there first and see if it works. Let's see. Yeah, they're kind of hard to get into when even when you go where they tell you to go. But so we're going to open it up. There's our inside. It doesn't feel like there's a card or anything in there. Ooh. All right, let's see. Wow, this is much fancier than I anticipated it to be. How cute are these? Wow, you guys, look at this. So let me get my sensory bracelet out of the way. First of all, you have an extender. You have a lobster clasp. This is like jazz and it, look at this bracelet. How cute is this look at that it almost looks like a pot leaf but it's not it's a um sand out nuts what am i trying to say it's a um i'm thinking pot leaf again it's not it's a sand dollar not a sand dollar what are those freaking things called starfish that's it that's it look at all the beads there's multiple strings here you've got three different strings it's all about shells. It's all about the beach. I really want to know if this fits me. Now, I've mentioned it a million times. I ain't no Barbie doll. But by the time I put this extender out, I think there would be more than enough room for me and then some. I could definitely tighten that up, but how cute. All right, let's get into another one, shall we? Here we've got another one here. They do have a unicorny. I would love to get the unicorny. Let's check it out. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I didn't think I was going to get all that. That's not bad for a buck and a coin. All right, let's open this. Wow, these are hard. 
All right, I'm going to cut it because this video is running a little bit on the longer side. I know a lot of you ask for longer videos. There we go. What do we have? The unicorn. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, are these just adorable? These, oh my gosh, look at the unicorn. These are too freaking cute. Too, too cute. You must hop on it. If you want these, oh my gosh, they're adorable. Love them, love them. Should we do one more? Let's do one more and then I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you all enjoyed your visit. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the only way you're going to see all the videos I got going out. You have to make sure you hit that bell because that bell is going to notify you about all the videos I do, not just Dollar Tree. What do we have? What do we have? We have another unicorn. And hey, that's okay. So now I got one for each side of my arm. We have a unicorn charm. We have a heart charm. And we have a little ball charm that dangles. Are those just too cute or what? All right, everybody. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye for now.